Hey everybody, welcome to Face the Music. I am glad that you're here today. Gonna start off today as usual with Album of the Day, our AOD, which is this one right here, Rod Stewart's Body Wishes. Now, I find that this album's not super uh, easy to find in a lot of cases, um, but it's got some great, great songs on here. Uh, two of my favorite are actually What Am I Gonna Do? I'm So In Love With You. If you haven't heard that song, and many of you who, if you're a Rod Stewart fan, you already know this song, I'm sure, from back in the day. But I remember this song when I was growing up. I think it's fantastic. Unfortunately, I don't think it gets the play, uh, the play time, the airtime that I think it really deserves. And then this song right here. Now, there's other great songs in here, but my other favorite song off of this uh, album is Baby Jane. Um, I'm telling you right now, Baby Jane off of this album, Body Wishes, I think I'm going to feature that song on this channel here, hopefully in the not-too-distant future. But it's one of my favorite uh, Rod Stewart songs. Again, the little songs that don't get a lot of airtime, for whatever reason, I think it's a great song. And in fact, um, and I think maybe because it could be a couple of different reasons. It could be because, um, you know, it doesn't get a lot of play time, a lot of other songs too, and I get, kind of get a little tired of hearing the same songs over and over again, so I want to go back to something that's a little bit more fresh. Uh, you know, I don't know exactly why. Um, that song doesn't get a lot of play time. But, you know, this album, again, doesn't get a lot of visibility, I don't think. Uh, Ron Stewart's Body Wishes, but it came out back in the 80s. Great, great album. If you don't have it, check it out. Got some other great stuff on here as well. Um, okay, so getting into today's episode, which is why we're here, right, is we're going to hit Pentatonix again. Now, I haven't featured Pentatonix on this channel for a little while. Um, I've, uh, you know, the, the episode, I think I've done one, maybe two. I'm not sure exactly how many I've done. Um, but, you know, as I said way back at the outset, when I first started featuring them, people were encouraging me to put them on the channel. I said, okay, I'll, f I'll put them on the channel. Um, I had heard like a Christmas song. I think it was Mary Did You Know. I heard that back a year or two years ago, whenever, and I thought, man, that's a great song. Um, and I'm normally not really big into a cappella groups, but, you know, the more that I kind of am featuring pentatonics here, and the more I'm understanding about them and, and, and hearing their songs and their music, I think they're fantastic. I think they really are great. Now, this song... This is going to be a little bit different for me because this is a classic. When I say classic, I don't mean like, you know, well, it's an oldie. It's a classic, you know, 50, 60 years ago. You know, it's probably, you know, like grandpa's car out in the garage. No, this is a classic. Bohemian Rhapsody. For those of you Queen fans, boy, I tell you what, you already know. So I don't know. Sometimes I'm very hesitant about like how are groups that are going to be covering a classic song going to do it and do it justice. And again, and, and especially here where this is going to be an a cappella version of that classic song. Whew, I don't know. I have no idea. I haven't heard this before. You know, I try not to make, I try to make sure that I don't, you know, hear any of their music before I feature them uh, on this channel as I do with other artists that I'm, you know, that I'm being introduced to now for the first time. So I don't know, but we're going to find out, right? So let's go ahead and jump on into it. Here we go. Pentatonix, Live at the Hollywood Bowl and Bohemian Rhapsody. A fabulous evening. We love you. We love you so much. Yeah, thank you. This was 2022. Is this the real life? Is this just fantasy? Caught in a landslide, no escape from reality. Open your eyes, look up to the sky. Oh, 
Well, there you have it, Pentatonix live at the Hollywood Bowl last year, 2022, with their uh, rendition of Bohemian Rhapsody, uh, a cappella version. Let me tell you, you know, that was fantastic. You know, um, it was one of those songs, and, and I do this every time that I hear a cover of a very, very popular song. You know, I did this a couple of episodes back when I did the, I think it was Eric Grunewall, uh, Grunewall, I think is how you pronounce it possibly. I did Eric's um, uh, cover of Journeys Faithfully. You know, anytime I do any song, you know, even with Diana and Kudanova with Wicked Game from Chris Isaac, did her, you know, also checked it out with um, um, her cover of uh, Can't Help Falling in Love with You from Elvis Presley. Um, you know, this song um, I thought was just great. And what I do is I listen for any differences and similarities in the original version. Now, setting aside Pentatonix's cover, Going back to the other artists, and you know they had their own musical instruments that they were, you know, that were accompanying their vocal, um, you know, their vocals. So it was easy to detect, you know, there whether or not I was hearing, you know, because I could hear the original song over here. I was hearing it like right over here, and I, I was listening to their version, and I was like, okay, that's a little bit different. That's a little bit, you know, uh, that's not really quite what the original was. Oh, that's very much like the original. This was a bit different because now you just have everything: instruments, you know, vocals, everything is all done with just their mouths. So. I'm listening, and you know, the amazing thing is I'm hearing the original version, Freddie Mercury and Brian May and all those guys, but Brian May's guitar parts, they covered it beautifully with their vocals, with their vocal, you know, arrangements on how they actually, you know, would cover the drums from Roger Taylor or the bass from John Deacon, uh, but especially the, the guitar from Brian May, um, you know, and of course the vocals by Freddie Mercury. There'll never be another vocalist like him for sure, but... These guys did a fantastic job covering that song, I think. Um, you know, for those of you who are Pentatonix fans, thanks for introducing me to this band or get, at least encouraging me to put them on this channel because every time I 
see them now or I hear their version of songs. And I don't know that I've actually, I did, I know I did Hallelujah, I believe, um, from back in the day, uh, you know, Jeff Buckley, um, that's the version. Now, I know when I did that, I actually mentioned Jeff Buckley many times, and a lot of people were like, well, it's not really Jeff's song, it's, it's before that. That's fine. Uh, Jeff Buckley's version is the one that I knew growing up, and that's, uh, you know, the one that I think a lot of people know, that's what they hear on the radio, but regardless, it doesn't matter. Um, they did a fantastic version of that song, and I think they did a fantastic version of this song. Again, it was a little bit different for me to see or to hear this song um, and all the, the, the vocals that were covering the musical instruments because, you know, you hear that song, you always, you know, you get Freddie's vocals, but you also get all the rest of the band's musical instruments. And then these guys covered each and every one of those parts flawlessly with the vocals. Fantastic. Really enjoyed that. I hope that you did as well. Yes. Going to have to get these guys back out here again. Keep on recommending songs for me to do for Pentatonics. And I guarantee you, I'm going to be getting a out on the channel, hopefully in the not-too-distant future. Again, that was absolutely fantastic. Well, that's it for today's episode. Like I said, if you're not a subscriber, uh, do me a quick favor. Reach over, hit that subscribe button. Also, give me a like and a share. Join this family. Let's just keep all this great music alive together. Also, while you're at it, set up your notifications. As I said at the outset, I believe, if I didn't, I'll say it now, so that whenever I drop a new episode, then you'll be among the first to find out. You can check it out up front. Um, also, check down below. I have a hashtag, Face the Music Reactions. You can just simply go there and click on that, or just go down to my playlist section. You can go browse through all my previous content. I'm sure you'll find a lot of other uh, great music and artists and so forth that you'll enjoy as well. Come on back. I have a lot of other great music in store for you coming up right here on this channel. I'll see you next time right here on Face the Music. Take care.